Hello friends, in today's video we're going to go through an updated method for farming unlimited money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So before we get into today's video, I need to give a huge shout out to one of our viewers, iNotFly, for commenting on one of our videos asking if there was an updated method for the Ace Academy Tournament money farming method since we've had Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet. Of course, since Pokemon Home did drop with Scarlet and Violet, we now have access to a bunch of new Pokemon and a lot of these Pokemon that we now can use in the game are very powerful. Legendary Pokemon, etc. A lot more powerful than what we initially had in the base games of Scarlet and Violet. Now we have already covered this method on the channel with the Ace Academy tournament highlighting the Chi Yu was one of the best Pokemon to use going into this event but other content creators have covered things like Sylveon which are just as effective but now that we do have this flurry of new powerful Pokemon from Pokemon Home I feel like there are some better options and now that they've had a better look at it and tested some things out I do have one Pokemon I'd like to share with you today that hopefully will make it a lot lot easier and give you a bit of peace of mind especially if you are setting this up in AFK. Now essentially this method consists of putting yourself in a loop in the Ace Academy tournament. To access the Ace Academy tournament you're going to have to be in the post game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You have had to have rebattled all eight gym leaders and then spoke to Nimona at the Academy. This will unlock the Ace Academy tournament for you. Once you've beat it once you will then have access to battle this over and over and over again for an unlimited limited amount of time. Each Ace Academy tournament will consist of four trainers that you will come up against. These will be random, but there will be a pool of trainers that you will be going up against. And once you beat the fourth one, that will be the tournament finished. This takes about 12 minutes to get through. And as long as your Pokemon is holding the amulet coin while doing this, you'll acquire just over 100,000 Poké Dollars. So it's a really effective method for farming money, especially if you do have a turbo controller so you can just set it away mashing a over and over and over again it means that you can just run through the tournament or just leave your switch running where your pokemon are kind of doing all of the work for you and you can acquire a lot of money while you're doing other things and then at least when you come to train pokemon for terror raids or other things competitive pokemon etc then you're going to have the money to be able to do it pretty easily in game and not have to worry about committing a lot of time when it's not convenient to doing these things later in your game. So I've already been through all of the new Pokemon that we have access to from Pokemon Home. And the one that I feel is gonna be the most effective for this method is gonna be Ice Rider Calyrex. Now here is the finished off build. We'll go through exactly how you can get all of these items to get this build exactly yourself. But Ice Rider Calyrex is a Psychic and Ice type. Don't worry about the terror typing for this method. Doesn't really matter at all. But the big key important thing from this overview page is the amulet coin you're going to need to make sure that you have the amulet coin if you don't have it already then you can head out to Madali town and speak to this npc character here who will gift you it after beating a set amount of trainers in that area so the amulet coin will double the amount of money that you get from beating these trainers which makes it just even more of an effective method the next important thing is to make sure you do have the glacial lance move which is its signature move and make sure you pp max it out so its pp is set to eight rather than five and then its ev spread is going to be 252 attack 252 speed with an adamant nature and the big thing other than that is just paying attention to the as one ability which i think makes this pokemon most effective out of all of the other options that we have access to now in scarlet and violet the as one ability essentially is two abilities it has unnerve which stops opposing pokemon eating their berries during the fight as long as you're on the field and the other part is the chilling near ability which is kind of merged in with that chilling near every time you knock out an opposing pokemon you get an attack boost so when you're going through the ace tournament and you get to that like fifth pokemon of the opposing trainer's party then you've got four attack boosts essentially from knocking out the four pokemon that you've already defeated meaning that last one doesn't really stand a chance against this big powerful ice type attack which is base 120 as well 100 percent accurate as well so it's a very strong attack but just make sure that you do pp max that out because that is one of the most important things about this but other than that you don't really need to worry about the other three moves just make sure the glacial lance is there and it is at the top of your move list so it is that automatic move that you lock into when you're doing this especially afk the other nice thing to note as well as the 
you don't really need the investment defensively because you are going to be set to level 100 just make sure you're at level 100 and because it is a legendary pokemon ice rider calyrex is going to have a really good natural bulk now to get ice rider calyrex you're going to have to trade in calyrex and glastria into your game from pokemon home these can be obtained in pokemon sword and shield and then you're going to have to go to porto Morinada once you have these in your game and speak to this npc character here who will then offer you up an auction for the reins of unity now this is a key item and you're going to need the reins of unity to kind of merge the calyrex and the glastria into the ice rider calyrex but once you've got the item it's pretty easy to do and you'll be able to do that no trouble in your game once you do that you'll also get access to the glacial lance move without merging these pokemon you will not have access to glacial lance it should be an automatic thing once you merge your pokemon and if you want to turn them back into their regular forms then you can just use reigns of unity on this pokemon and it will turn them into their singular pokemon once again the other thing to make sure that you are doing with your calyrex is to hyper train it make sure that you've got max ivs in hp attack attack defense special defense and speed you can do this by picking up bottle caps in mesagoza at the deli bird presents store and then go to monteravira and speak to this npc character here next to the abomas snow and just use those bottle caps to max out your iv set them all to 31 you don't need to worry about the special attack and also make sure that you have an adamant nature the nature mint can be bought from the chancy supply stores in monteravira and you can also buy the vitamins here to ev train the calyrex you can use 25 proteins and 25 carbos with the feathers in those respected ones just two from each and then the four remaining feathers can be put into hp just to max out all of the ivs on this pokemon and once you've trained it up and you've got your calyrex just head over to mesagoza to your respected academy whichever game you've got either scarlet or violet and come to this npc character here and then you will just either mash a over and over and over again or if you've got that turbo controller then you can set it up to just mash a as the option and you will run through the tournament now there isn't really going to be too many issues for you to deal with throughout the ace academy tournament you're going to look at all of the teams here the things that would stand out are probably the arcanine but most pokemon that you're going to be going up against are going to be set to level 65 with a maximum of 67 and you'll be able to deal with things like the firebreed taurus the arcanine pretty easily even though you won't be maybe one shotting the arcanine because it is at the start of the party if you are facing jack uh, you'll be able to uh, normally will knock itself out with its flare blitz recoil and you're still not going to take that much damage anyway just because of your sheer bulk the other ones are going to be king gambit but by the time you get to the king gambit against Gita, you'll already have four attack boosts so you'll still be able to pick up that one hit ko against the king gambit with the glacial lance at that stage the other things that you're going to have to worry about really are few and far between things like cloister could be a bit problematic but you aren't going to get knocked out by anything i guess times team can be a little bit tricky because the moves are going to be super effective but again the more problematic pokemon like the garganacle and the colossal which are at the end of the party uh, you'll be at plus four attack or more by that stage anyway so your glacial lance is going to be easily picking up knockouts against them so these pokemon aren't really going to have much of a way of being able to defeat you and you're going to be outspeeding most things as well with the ev investment that you have put into it with the attack and that max speed investment on the ice rider calorite an added bonus as well just in case you didn't know every time you do beat the ace academy tournament you get all of the prize money from these trainers but you do have the chance to get some rarer item drops as well and this includes things like beast balls the apricorn balls as well as nuggets high cost items pp ups terra shards and gold bottle caps so it's not only a great method for farming money but you will be able to farm it for some of these high cost items and as you can see here i'm just going to move my camera so you can see the amount of money that i've got i did leave this running this morning for a few hours and i managed to acquire six million poker dollars already and i did pick up a a love ball along the way as well which was a really nice kind of bonus for that so it's a really good way to kind of get these apricorn balls especially if you are going into afk mode with this if you're interested as well the controller that i use is currently the 8-bit dot ultimate controller i'm not saying go out and buy this one but i get a lot of people asking what i use this is the controller that i use for this method it does have a turbo function on it 
but if you wanted something cheaper, I've heard that the Hori wired controller, which is around £20 or $20, is a really good option as well. But I'm not endorsed, I'm not sponsored for this video. So you can just Google or get recommendations from hopefully someone that's watching this that can drop a recommendation down below in the comments about what other controllers would be good for using this method. But like I say, if you don't want to pay out for a controller that has a turbo functionality, you can still sit and just mash A relentlessly and not really have to worry about paying attention to what's going on on your switch or on your screen like that. So you can kind of do it AFK where you're just to the side pressing A a lot and that will still work. But if you want a controller, turbo controller, it is a really good method because you can just leave it on overnight or leave it on through the day and then it will just get you a bunch of money in game, just making a lot of these annoying little tasks of raising Pokemon and getting items and things like that that do cost money a little bit easier. But like I mentioned, the Chi Yu is still a good option. Sylveon is a good option for this, but the Ice Rider Calyrex gives you a lot more peace of mind when doing this. There's been a few times where I've set up with the Chi Yu in the past and I've come back and I'm just stuck at a Pokemon Center healing up because it's been knocked out. And this doesn't happen too often, but it has happened enough for me to notice. Now with the Ice Rider Calyrex, I left this running for a good five, six hours early and it had no issues at all and there's not even any time where you're going to be close to getting knocked out or your PP running out or you're not going to be able to knock something out they could be a little bit more problematic so I do feel like this is the most consistent Pokemon to do this method with and hopefully it is useful for you of course if you do try this out please let me know down in the comment section below or if you found one of the other legendary Pokemon that we now have access to that has been good for you with this method let me know in the comment section below I hope you found today's video useful useful if you have please drop a like do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scholar and violet content thank you so much for taking the time to come by today's video and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye